Well, it was uh, a high-energy series, certainly from our perspective. Um, our guys got off to a great start on Friday night, and we played six periods of real solid hockey. Uh, the pace of our game was high. Uh, the intensity level, the battle level was all at a high level as well and, and uh, found the back in the net and, and guys that we expected to find the back in the net a little earlier this season um, found it. And uh, again, it was, I think, a matter of having our team together, having had a couple of games now with the Duluth series uh, and this one to play together and to get some combinations going there that we foresaw at the start of the year we're just never able to have them because of guys being out of their lineup and, and it's interesting I, I got a number of emails today from from Bronco hockey fans or just love the way the team played and kind of asked the question why don't you play like that all the time and uh, certainly from the coach's perspective that's what we've been looking for and, and I think having our group back now together and, and guys getting after and we it's interesting uh, the flu bug's been hitting our campus we had a few guys that had the flu bug over the weekend, but sucked it up. Cam Lee, in particular, was sick all weekend, but uh, uh, played very hard. So certainly uh, a good standard to play from our team and one that we're going to need against the St. Cloud team that had the biggest weekend they've had this year. And Obviously, we haven't been very successful the last number of years against St. Cloud, and they're going to come in here riding a high after be beating Duluth twice. Played really well defensively. They've got good speed again, and their goaltender, uh, who was outstanding last year, uh, looked real good again. So great opponent for this weekend. Some exciting hockey for our fans again. You guys have, at least this weekend, it, it seems like 10 minutes into the first period, you're in double-digit shots every night. Are you emphasizing something about starting quickly that maybe is different than you have in the past? Well, it was really interesting. Uh, near the end of the game, obviously, when the score was clear in the last few minutes, uh, I'm telling our guys that, uh, guys, let's get 40 shots because that would be six games in a row with over 40 shots in a game. It's tough to get 40 shots in one hockey game, let alone six. And we didn't, didn't hit the net with any of our shots. At the end of the game, ended up with 39. But, you know, I mean... Uh, the message has never changed here. Uh, we want to get off to a strong start. I mean, it, it's interesting. Statistically, in the National Hockey League, the team that scores first wins about 80% of your games. Now, you, you don't want to emphasize that too much with your team when we talk about getting that first goal and going after it. But you don't want to say it's over 80% of the time because then if you don't score, you just put the sticks away and stop working. But, um, you know, we, we, we had great energy. I, we had just one unit to the other we were able to exert pressure on their defense and you know when you got one unit going and a couple of others aren't going and, and then you can't get that kind of thrust going forward but we had everybody going in both games this weekend and our starts are very important obviously as they are for every team you're four points out of second place in the nchc is everybody in that room aware of that right now um you know we, we've really haven't ever put the standings up on the board I mean, uh, they're college students. They can read. Uh, they get it put in front of them all the time. So I think they certainly are aware of where we are in the standings. But, you know, you can get so wound up in that that you lose perspective. And, you know, uh, today uh, we're going to challenge them with a few things that we could do better because we just won a couple of big hockey games. Uh, we aren't in a position to be a guarantee for home ice yet. Uh, we haven't won a playoff series. Uh, we haven't won the NCHC. We, we beat a good... Colorado College team twice, and we've got a real good St. Cloud team coming in. So our focus is going to be as, be as good as we can be on Friday night. You've talked recently about how your offense is doing all the right things to generate shots and scoring chances. How big was it for you guys to get 11 goals over the weekend against Colorado College? Well, I mean, seeing the puck go in the net, I mean, we, we were the fifth highest scoring team in college hockey last year, like the fifth highest scoring team. Uh, most of those guys that scored, uh, you know, certainly Corey Schooneman and and Cole Conrad were two guys who generated points last year. Uh, but we have most of those players back. Now, the majority of them have not been healthy so far this year, and, and they haven't been able to play in the units that we maybe foresaw them playing in. But they're finding their range, and you know, obviously our belief now is the last 14 games of the regular season that we're going to see these guys that have always put up numbers put up numbers. And you know, we're getting opportunities. I mean, I, I thought a perfect example of our – level of frustration with goal scoring was on Friday night when uh, Matthias Samuelson made a great play and took the puck into the zone and slid it across to Hugh McGing and he had a wide open net. He could have just touched it into the net, 
he hit it about 250 miles an hour because he's been snake bitten the whole season and that that puck was going to go through the net through the goalie if he was there through the boards all the way back to Chicago his hometown because he was going to bury that one and you know that's the kind of attitude we had in the weekend and it's that level of frustration that that we've had for quite a while I mean we've, we've had a tough time winning games against good teams where we've played very well but haven't scored and then sometimes when you're not scoring you start pressing a little bit and you let let your guard drop a little bit it's like a boxer that does a lot of punching and you're punching and all of a sudden you it, you're you're not finishing the guy and you drop one and he nails you and the fight's over and that's kind of happened to us in a few games this year um what did it mean for a guy like wade um to get going with two goals uh, three assists over the weekend um and how is he feeling uh from a, just a physical standpoint i mean that, that's the best hockey wade allison's played in two years bottom line that's the best hockey wade allison's played in two years he's, he's paid a heavy price with his injuries, I think, you know, he's come back at times. He hasn't been able to get enough practice time to get the kind of rhythm or, or conditioning that he needs to have. And I think that's rounding into shape right now. And, you know, I thought we thought he played very well in the Duluth series as well. But the two games that you saw from Wade Allison on Saturday night is the reason that he was a guy that was the leading candidate for the Hobie a couple of years ago. It was a second-round draft pick of the Flyers, was the MVP of the USHL playoffs and of their all-star game. And, the reason he's been such a key factor for us here. So, you know, I feel for Wayne so happy, Wade, and so happy for him that the puck was going in. And Dawson DiPietro is another one that, that, you know, Dawson was on top of the puck. He was playing linear hockey, hounding pucks, hounding the opponent. And, and, and it's great to see that reward for those guys. Uh, your goaltender, uh, Brandon Bussey, um, got both starts on Friday and Saturday. Um, could you talk about um, your decision to put him back in net and how he responded to that call? Well, you know, uh, Ben Blacker played very well, as we all know, the second game up in Duluth. And, and uh, you know, certainly all week we went back and forth with that decision. You know, are we going to play Ben? Are we going to play Brandon? And, uh, you know, our decision was that Brandon had played the majority of the games, had played well in the majority of games, had a few games where he wasn't as sharp. I got an opportunity to watch Ben play and go in and have success. And, you know, basically it was a decision that we thought – on that particular night that Brandon was going to start and went with him, played very well, did not have to take a lot of shots on Friday. I think it was 26 or 27 and um, wasn't worked too hard. So we felt that he could go back in on Saturday. And, you know, just as we talked about us generating um, 39 shots on that on Saturday night, I mean, the other team, Colorado College, played much harder. They got 41. So Brandon had to make some big saves for us. Thank you, Coach. Can, can I just make oh, yeah. one comment here uh, also? And I know you're going to talk to Cole Gallant here in a couple of minutes. And, and I mean, Cole is uh, a guy that we're just so pleased with him, and he's been at times in and out of our lineup here. But when Cole plays with that kind of intensity, he's on the puck like he has been the last while here. He's a key player for us. It was killing penalties and made a great play on the pass to Huma Ging in front. And he's such a quality young guy. It's great to see him have that success and you're going to enjoy talking to him? Um, I mean, I don't know. We had never played with either of them throughout my freshman or sophomore year, um, but we got put together in Duluth and we just um, kind of decided like, hey, like, let's try and help turn the season around. Like, let's do what we do. And I think that we all complement our games um, pretty well. And we all have, we're all ten tenacious on the puck. And we all have a pretty decent hockey IQ, so we kind of just find each other out there, and it's been working out pretty well so far. Just a, an offensive <laughs> explosion for you guys this weekend. I, did you sense that something like that was coming? I mean, Coach was talking about however many games in a row it is now with 40 shots. You finally break through. Did you guys feel like that was, was about to happen? Yeah, yeah, we did feel like that. We, we've been very like positive in the room, and we just kind of what we push each other every day to – be better and I think we've had some good line combinations combinations and um, also it's like great to see guys like Wade Allison and Dawson DiPietro um, they stepped up and had a huge weekend for us and um, Brandon Bussey too he uh, he didn't play uh, Saturday night in Duluth but he uh, he came back and had two huge games for us so it's given us a lot of confidence that we, um, that, that he's in uh, the net. It's, you know, it's going to be like this with every single series, but you look at the middle of the NCHC right now, you're four up on St. Cloud, you're four out of second. How much do you guys worry about something like that at this point in the season? 
Um, we don't. I don't think we worry about it. We kind of just go out every day and we kind of focus on the the details of our games, and we just have to uh, kind of worry about more of ourselves and our game rather than other people's uh, games. And you know, winning uh, this weekend against St. Cloud and also. Uh, playing CC this past weekend was pulling away from them, and now we St. Cloud's four points behind us, so it's going to be good for us to pull away from them and get a couple wins this weekend. You mentioned Wade and uh, his weekend series. Um, what have you been seeing from him in practice that kind of um, led you led you to believe that um, you know he was due for a big uh, series like he had? Um, you know, he he goes out every day. He works hard. He works his tail off, and. He uh, leads by example by the way he plays and the way he's been practicing and he's been really, really good. And we kind of like knew we had a feeling that like, OK, this guy is going to step up this weekend. And he did. He, he deserves it. He de uh, deserved it by the way he practices, the way he plays every day in and day out. So he's been doing really well. When you see guys like he and um, Dawson uh, produce so much, so many points uh, after maybe you know struggling to find the back of the net a little bit earlier in the year. What does it do um, for the rest of the forwards and uh, the rest of your attack um, when you kind of see them, you know, putting up the points like they did over the weekend? Um, I think it just gives us uh, a lot more confidence in our, in everyone else's game because like these guys are doing it. So I think uh, other guys go and practice every day and they kind of they they feel like they can do it as well. And like uh, watching them do that uh, during Saturday night, especially like it definitely gives us a lot of confidence in our games too.